Chaos captured on camera. New city surveillance videos show how April protests over the death of Freddie Gray turned into a night of destruction and looting. This video from our media part of the Baltimore Sun shows just how quickly the chaos escalated at North and Pennsylvania Avenues. With the exception of a brief incursion by a SWAT team, the video shows that officers did not move in for nearly 90 minutes after the crowd had largely moved on. As Mike Helgren reports, those officers were frustrated without the resources and direction they say they needed. We learned we're both juveniles gathered at the location causing a disturbance. We got our hands full right now. WJZ reviewed more than a dozen hours of newly released recordings from the April 27th Baltimore riots. Oh my gosh, look at that tear gas. And they paint a revealing picture of a city slowly turning out of control. Pigeon all units, pigeon all units. I need all available northern units at Swan Drive and Gwynfall with your right here. We're getting good thrown at us. Signal 13, signal 13, everybody has the right to stand. He got hit with a brick, so we're going to stand right here. I can't leave these officers here by themselves. A frustrated, ill equipped police force struggled, even though the mayor and police deny claims they were ordered to stand down. It wasn't until there was a controversy around the stand down order that I even knew what the uh, stand down order was. Here's what police said on the radio. Hold the line. Do not go forward and do not chase them. We're sitting up here and there's a couple hundred people here. I am not going to let my guys get hurt because we have equipment and we're not using it. Somebody give me some type of fucking thing. The police union says in some cases officers had to get approval simply to make arrests and some had to buy their own safety gear. Let's go, y'all. We got to up and down at the location. Pennsylvania North. Let's go. You use caution. You have to do. More than 150 officers were injured that day, and the city has yet to provide a full public accounting of what went wrong. This is everyone. If you got something, drop it. Get over here. Get your right here. Make sure you're prepared for this. You all know what to do. Protect yourselves and protect each other. And we did not hear any direct stand down orders in our review of these recordings. At Penn North, Mike Helgren, WJZ Eyewitness News. In the wake of the riots, the number of city murders has skyrocketed. Under fire, the mayor called the commissioner a distraction and replaced him.